Hurricane Ian. We were safe. However, that thing got knocked over. Do you see everything in that tree? I mean, the, all this stayed here, which is amazing actually. But all the leaves on the ground, if you look back at my house, you can see like, they're super bare. It looks like fall, but it's not fall. It only fell because of the hurricane. Look at the birds. Holy cow over there. Oh, yeah. Stop it, stupid. My dog will go, there's a potato. And there's a big tree that has broken over there in half, laying on the ground. Look at this tree branch. And this tree had a huge branch taken from it. Oh no, did it land on the house? I don't think so. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. I want to get to the good part, which is over here. Yeah, as you can tell, it's still windy, but <clears throat> bearable and manageable, and we are in the clear of Hurricane Ian. Hurricane Ian was supposed to be landing somewhere between Tampa Bay and Port Charlotte, Punta Gorda. I, I, oh, for a while, I swear I thought it was going to be... Um, hitting us and getting us directly. Well, even as it made landfall, I thought it was going to shift and come our way. La piste de resistance. Look at this tree, y'all. It's massive. Look at it. It's bent in half. There's an acorn still on it. I mean, there's a more than a few acorns still on it. Oh, it's a trench bed, Marley. Some neighbors out here assessing the damage as well. My son, uh, my son took the dog out and was like, "Hey, mom, you want to take the other dogs out because there's a tree broken, broken half." 
was like, okay, cool. So I took one out and I didn't bring my camera. <laughs> but yeah. And I gotta end it here because the dog is gonna go crazy trying to bark at these people. No. No.